Um, we did what we needed to do in order to take care of, of my brother and make sure that he was as comfortable as he could be. You know, and, and in turn, he gave us 11 years um, of just of being able to love him and being able to take care of him and being able to learn from him. You know, I learned a lot and I, I grew up um, fairly quickly throughout that experience in my life. I can say that without him and without that experience of experiencing him, and loving him, I wouldn't be the person that I am today. So he's molded me, and that experience has molded me into um, the woman that I am now. And he's not here physically, but I know that he still lives, you know, within me and within my mother. What's one of the lasting lessons that you learned from your brother? Unconditional love like unconditional love. Like I, I don't know, it's, it's something different when you have to take care of somebody else. You know, when you, you put someone else's needs and someone else's, um, just someone else's needs really in front of yours. And I think at, at a very young age when you're experiencing something like that, it's, it's kind of hard to like already process because I was a kid doing it, but I mean, honestly, couldn't tell the difference. You know, it was just the life that I lived and, you know, with the help of my mom and we just, that's, that's how we lived, honestly. But I started dancing hula and I loved it. I loved it so much. Um, and there's just a, a, a bigger connection that I felt with hula that was unlike anything else. It, it like hula grabbed me and I clung. I clung to it and that was where I found my own identity and who I was um, and so that's why I say like hula's hula's a part of me because it's it's who I am it's how I identify myself that's where I felt the most alive that's where I felt the most myself and that's kind of cliche to say but it's like honestly the that's honestly the truth that's the truth I was working at 24 Hour Fitness and I was working the front desk and I was just kind of like me you know I, I you know I felt like something a part of me was missing I felt like a part of me was missing and I couldn't quite pinpoint why I was feeling this way and what I could do to change that feeling you don't just get into hula and you just stay with hula it's 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 there's a combination of a lot of things. There's the language, there's the, the, the melee, there's, you know, the storytelling, there's, it goes, it goes way deeper than just the, the, what people think is just hula. The feeling that I felt all this time of something missing, mm -hmm. it felt like that last piece of the puzzle finally fit. And was that right away? Like the first it was immediately. day you went? Yeah. It was immediately. It, it almost felt like internally I was longing for it. And I just didn't know, I just didn't know what I needed, but I finally figured out what it was. In order for you to know who you truly are, you need to know where you come from. Like you need to know who your kupuna are, you know? And, and more importantly, you need to be able to continue to talk about them and pass them on because these are ultimately the people, like without these people, you cease to exist learning about the importance of genealogy, learning about the importance of knowing who your kupuna are and why it's so important to continue to pass that knowledge down, continue to say their names, continue to talk about them because that's ultimately who you represent now. Right? And, and without them, there is no you. And one day, you're going to be a kupuna as well. And hopefully, you know, your kids and your kids' kids and the people that come after them will be able to celebrate you. Then I win, Miss Lohula. <laughs> but that was the goal, right? Uh, it was, it was, well, it wasn't, I mean... Were you not expecting it? I wasn't expecting it. Was it your first time trying? Yeah. Well, I, I honestly didn't even think that I would be one of those girls to even have an opportunity to 
run mm -hmm. you know i didn't think i was gonna win to be quite honest with you i mean and i could name and list the so many things of why I didn't think I would win. You know, I didn't have enough experience. Um, I had only been dancing for, you know, Halau Hiyaka and Makalingwa for like three years. You know, whereas some girls have danced their entire lives, you know, like from three years old. And so it's it's been a very interesting ride. Yeah. Very interesting ride. So, and I'm still learning. I'm still learning a lot um you know naturally i would say like i'm, I'm kind of a shy person i'm more reserved but being a miss lohula it it has forced me to kind of come out of my comfort zone mm -hmm. you know it's forced me to do things that i never thought i would do before you know speaking publicly never thought that i would ever do that or yeah never ever thought or speaking on camera like this you know um never thought that i would have to do that or never thought that i could do that either with everything that i've you know experienced in my life through hula and through my own personal life ultimately has made me a better person first and a better dancer as well but i think being a better person is the most important thing.